they look up to the person they have depended on that job you have been in for all these years you wake up one morning you go to work on monday and they hand you a letter that they are sorry you can't be coming here again moses my servant is dead ladies and gentlemen if it was a prophet who was prophesying you can even argue it the bible says and the lord the guy who gave the guy God brought them Moses and they said servant is dead so what is your problem some of you you can't think far you can't think mothers that truly Kwame is married it doesn't matter how you think cry the guy is married until you accept it you will die you the guy is married. I even heard the wife, the wife is pregnant. Forget it. Tell somebody for Gary. For Gary. There are some things, they are gone. The Bible said Israel cried for 40 solid days. Every day they wake up and they start crying. I know some people, their old boyfriend, they still have their picture. Every morning, say, hey, Kwame. Kwame. You get BP or you get BP for Gary is gone. Kwame is gone. It's in somebody's hand. Obi see God too soon. <laughs> see, sometimes in life we win some, sometimes we lose some. And when some things are gone, no matter how painful it is, we must learn to accept. See, one of the biggest problems with humanity, especially with black people, we, we are not honest with ourselves. Sometimes we struggle to even admit you got it wrong. The last time I was going somewhere with my wife, I was driving. I am the chief driver. Whilst we were going, I knew the turn was the second turn on the left. My wife said it is the first turn. I said, no, no, no. It's the second turn, and I took the second turn, and I turned. We have driven uh, a 15 minutes. I'm not seeing the thing. I have realized I'm lost. But to tell her I'm lost, we shall travel. <laughs> I drove. And then she started singing, and I knew. <laughs> to admit I got it wrong. We we'll all die on this road. <laughs> I drove. I said, Have they changed the road? <laughs> How can they change the road? You have missed it. Admit that you got it wrong. Admit that you miscalculated. Admit that you predicted wrong. Accept your mistake and move on. But sometimes, we struggle. We try to even polish error. You are trying to make bad good. When no matter how you decorate monkey, monkey, na monkey. When the thing is dead, it's dead. It doesn't matter what you do. But for us to admit so how should it take God to come all the way from heaven to come and emphasize to the people of Israel that Moses my servant is dead that is talking about something they already know but the problem is that even though they know he is dead they are still believing foolishly that a miracle will happen It's like they have brought you the results of the exams and you still believe they will call you back again to tell you they made a mistake that thing too they have marked it Moses my servant is dead what again did God say that the Lord spake unto Joshua the son of Nun and then the Lord spoke to Joshua the son of Nun and said to him Moses my servant is dead Moses my servant is dead so now, my first point is that accept reality a time comes be honest with yourself 
stop painting things that cannot be painted accept it no matter how painful it is 2016 will never come again it is gone whatever happened do you know what I did to 2016 I buried it I buried 2016 with all is good and all is bad because sometimes your biggest problem is your success of yesterday it's not only the failures sometimes the success of yesterday makes you complacent so you can't push forward in life I don't I used to really love hanging out with my old classmates until I realized that anytime we meet they only talk about yesterday they don't talk about tomorrow and nobody lives life in yesterday but there are some friends in your life all they talk about do you remember when we were in class 5 and we can spend 2 hours talking about when we were and what will when we were do to where I am going One amazing culture that has come that has is good and bad. Social media. Brother social. It has its positive and a very great negative. One of the things social media has brought, ladies and gentlemen, is old school reunion. Old school platform. Unfortunately for me, my platform, some of them are in China. Mozambique. Iran. So even when you are sleeping in Ghana, 2 a.m., they are was up in you. Hello, hi guys. Hi guys, 2 a.m. Unbelievable lifestyle. It gets worse. And on that platform, they start talking about who was your girlfriend when you were in school. After you are married, they are reminding you of your old jolly and people start reconnecting and start destroying their future with their past Moses my servant is dead there are some things they are yesterday and what you do to yesterday is that close the door of yesterday don't be rude I didn't say be rude but I said close the door close the door to yesterday don't go and resurrect old wounds it will destroy your tomorrow there are some people you don't need them again life has moved on and move with the flow of where God is taking you Moses my servant is dead he said what now therefore now in your present what you need to do is to arise tell somebody arise get out of the mess get out of the pain get out of the disappointment clean yourself wipe your face you have cried enough it is time to move forward don't use the failure of yesterday as an excuse to stay dormant to stay unproductive you are not the only person who lost their mother on Friday when I was coming to preach here when I got to the palace roundabout there was a terrible accident young boy his head is crashed into pieces do you know what people go through life still moves on have you ever lost somebody in life before can I see by hand anybody who has ever lost somebody close can you please lift your hand let me see do you know one of the gifts God gave human beings is called forgetfulness when you die we will cry for you but give us one week two weeks one month three months you are forgotten we have moved on that's how God created life that in the moment we cry after we must rise up unfortunately some people struggle to rise up you are not the first person to lose a business you are not the first businessman to lose money a man came to my office crying he has lost one million dollars 
Why? He bought the product. The product delayed on the sea. By the time they cleared, it has expired. Period. One million dollars. Gone. If he did funeral party in my office for 10 years, the one million won't come back. The only thing he can do is to rise up and think of fresh ideas on how to make another one million. I have never seen anybody cry that something they lost came back. Some things are gone. Arise. That's what God said to Joshua. Moses, my servant, is dead. Rise up. Tell somebody, rise up. You are not the first. Please. It's not prophecy. It's reality. You are not the first person for a man to break your heart. You won't be the last. In fact, other hearts are being waiting to be broken. It's in the queue. It will happen by all means. It's a fact of life. In fact, the only person who doesn't break heart is God. The Bible says God is not a man that he should lie. It means all men are liars. Oh, sorry. Men have capacity to lie. Please, that man there is not only for the masculine. Some women too are bad. Some women, they are dangerous. They are ninjas. They will chop your money and disappear. You know ninja? You know those the ninja film? When the ninja hits the kill on the ground, then disappear. What do you see called call? It's gone. Continue for me. Now therefore arise. Now therefore arise. Go over this Jordan. Go over this Jordan. Thou and all this people. You and all the people. Unto the land which I do give unto to them. Unto the land that I will, the Lord will show you. Even to the children of Israel. Even to the children of Israel. Every place that the soul. He said, every place that upon. the soul of your feet shall tread. That when you rise up, you start to see and experience the promises of God over your head. When you rise up, you will know that there is more in you than what you have lost. When you rise up, you will know what you have lost cannot be compared with what is ahead of you. I thought somebody would say amen. amen. Better days are ahead of your life. Better days. Say better days. Are ahead of my life. Better days will come. Some things must happen for you to see the glory of the Lord. Better days. Before we got our land to build our church that we are building, we got the first land. And the man was leasing it for us, lease. He was charging $50,000 a year. 50. Yes. I told him I want 10 years lease. He agreed. He agreed. He agreed to the 50 years. To the, to the 10 years. On the day I was going to pay the first check, he called me that his wife said he won't agree. Oh. Why wouldn't he agree? He said, my wife said he wants only 5 years. I said, I can't build on a land that I have only 5 years lease. So that after 5 years, if you change your mind, what will happen? Please. The man said no. You I should just pay the money and accept the five years. I said no. If I pay the money and it enters your mouth like that, to pull it out. Now Allah. We are going back and forth. I felt disappointed. I told the church, we have celebrated. We have shared the testimony. Praise the Lord. God has gotten us a very prime place in cantonments. We are going to build this church. We have 10 years lease. By 10 years, we'll buy the property. Amen. We have dance. Then this man has changed his mind. How am I going to go back to them and lie or say what? It was really a burden. I was so sad throughout the day. I didn't know God was preparing something better ahead. Sometimes you cry over us. What? Oh God. I said, what you have lost can never be compared to what is ahead of you. 
The night I was crying, I received a call from a man. He said, Gilbert, I've heard you are looking for a land. I said, yes, sir. He said, I have a land. Go and see if you like it. And the land is in a prime and a better place than the first one. It's bigger than the first one. Cut long story short. The 50,000 that the man refused to take as lease is the 50,000 I paid as down payment to own this land. Do you know God? Don't let what you lose. Sometimes you see your human side gets into you. That when we lose something, we think the world has come to an end. It is the devil who makes you feel you are finished. Please, God will never place your destiny in one decision of your life. Impossible. Your life is too big to be in one person's life so that when the person leaves, you are finished. No! And God just set an example. A whole Moses is dead and gone. How will the people of Israel survive? And then God goes to and nobody like Joshua. He says, Joshua, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore you rise up and go and lead the people. How can God choose Joshua to go and replace Moses? Do you know Moses? Ladies and gentlemen, Moses is not an ordinary man. Moses and Jesus are the only two people in the Bible. All the plenty of people in the Bible who don't have classmates. Ah. When Moses was born, any male child that was born in that year was killed. They killed the same way Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh was also doing it. Herod did the same thing. That if Jesus kill, kill any male child because they are looking for one male child. So Moses has no classmate. Moses is so unique that his birth was announced by an angel. Who announced the birth of Joshua? Nobody. We don't even know when he was born. He just appeared. Moses is the only man that was born by one woman. <laughs> Moses' mother gave birth to him. But he was taken care by another woman. Moses was born as an Israelite but was trained as an Egyptian. He was born a poor boy, but was raised a rich boy. He schooled in the best places in Egypt. Moses was highly educated. He was known as the son of Pharaoh by the Egyptians and known also as Miriam's brother. Confused human being like that. He spent 40 years in wealth and 40 years in poverty. Moses. When God was calling Moses, he has to send fire. Fire. Because if you don't send fire, ask for this Moses, you won't come. So Moses saw fire burning on a tree. The plant was burning, but the, pl the plant itself was not burning. Fire was on it. Then he went close. God said, Moses, the land which you are standing on is holy. Before he removed his shoes. He said, I'm calling you. He's arguing with God. How can you call me? God had to give him a rod before the guy. So the guy had a rod. And his rod was working miracles. When I look at Moses and Joshua, all that comes to my mind is Bruce Lee and Jet Lee. Ah, when, when Bruce Lee was Bruce Lee, when you watch Chinese movie and it's not Bruce Lee, you didn't watch Chinese movie. He's the father of all. Oh man. I mean, Bruce Lee gave us. So when Bruce Lee died and we needed a replacement of Bruce Lee, it has to be Jet Lee. 
Bushley was walking on the ground. Jet Li was flying. He can fly. I love Jet Li movies. Iron Man. The one. The one. Oh, the one. The one. So you see, in my imagination, when I read the Bible, I want to see that if Moses Jet Li is gone, and God is bringing a replacement, he will bring, he will bring a Jet Li to replace Bushley. Because the kind of miracles Moses did and could he enter the promised land, they would need bigger miracles or more power to enter the promised land. But when God came to Joshua, he didn't give him anything. Joshua had no rod. Joshua had no power. In fact, Joshua worked no miracle. If it was Moses, if it was Moses, ladies and gentlemen, if it was Moses who reached the walls of Jericho, you will see what the rod will do. He would have stretched the rod. Yeah! Then you hear, and, and then power came from the rod and crashed. And the walls of Jericho came down after Moses had stretched the rod. But when he came to Joshua, the Bible said, just move around and do what? Shout. <laughs> you see, some people use mechanical effort. Some of us, all we have is God. It is not by might, nor by power. It is not him that will it, nor him that run it. It is not by your strength. It is the Lord God that will show mercy. You may not be as gifted as others, but you also get there. You may not be as connected as others, but you still break through. I prophesy over your life that made the God that was with Joshua let that God be with you let God stand by your side let God promote you let God elevate you let God bless you let God increase you yeah. what Moses could not do with the rod Moses did Joshua did with no rod all that God told him is, I said, Joshua, you may not have the gifts that others have. You, you may not have come from a good home like others. You may not have a father in politics or anybody to connect you. You may not have what others, you may not have been fortunate to attend certain schools that others went to. It does not mean it's a limitation to what I want to make of you. If only you will be strong and courageous all God needs from you and I is to be strong ladies and gentlemen God said it three times to Joshua be strong where was Joshua going to find strength from if to be strong then you give me rod you know me I expected him to give him rod and sword at least two weapons because if the what, what the rod cannot do the sword will do but instead he gave him nothing and he says, I am all that you need. I told Moses, I am that I am. He didn't take that word. He wanted physical proof. So I limited the I am to a rod. But if you will listen to me and let me be all that you need. I will stand by you and when I am standing by you no man will be able to stand before you whatever the soul of your feet shall tread you shall possess whatever you do you will succeed wherever you go those who open for you what others have failed to achieve by the power of the Holy Ghost in the year 2017 you shall achieve it he said be strong how do you become strong i'll end with this the bible says that they that know their god shall be what strong your strength comes from your knowledge of god if you know the god that you serve you will know he does not fail faithful is he that has promised and he will do it so if i know my god does not fail in anything i do i am stronger he has promised joshua and he promised you and i he said i will never leave you nor forsake you so i am strong 
strong when I am in trouble I am not afraid I am like David he said even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I fear no evil because there's one thing I know he is with me a thousand will fall at thy side and ten thousand at my right hand he that dwells in the secret place of the most high will abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord you are my refuge you are my God in whom I trust I will not be afraid of the fowler that flies by night nor by the noisome pestilence ladies and gentlemen it doesn't matter who comes against you if God be for you no man can be against you if God is on your side in all things you are more than a conqueror in all things I said you are more than a conqueror If you know your God, you will be strong and you will do exploits. They that know their God, I know my God that he doesn't fail. I know my God that he keeps to his word. He said, have I not said it? And will I not bring it to pass? What has God promised you? Why are you looking at your ability, your bank account? Why are you allowing the threats of men to get into you? Because you don't know your God. Please, men don't have the final say. Your God has the final say. If Jesus say yes, no man. If Jesus says yes, no man can say no. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong. Put your trust in God. Let me tell you one last story and I end. You see, I knew, I knew God had a plan for my life. My goodness. I knew. I knew there was something special about my destiny. But every step of the way was a struggle. And the struggle did not discourage me. When I was rejected from the house, I was in school, I was in first year. Form one. In Opoko, I secondary school. How will I finish? I tried till I got to final year. I tried. I used to beg for money to pay my school fees. But when I got to final year, I couldn't beg and study at the same time. Three weeks to the closure of examination fee, I had not paid. One week. I remember one time I went to the park praying and crying. I said, God, if you knew you would not let me finish, you shouldn't have made me start. I've struggled for nothing. Why all this struggle for nothing? And what is important? At least, let me write the exams and fail. Then I know I tried and I failed. But to bring me to this school for all these years and not, then what was the use? Tell somebody be strong and courageous. Three days. Three days to the closure. They announced. When we go to assembly, they will mention my name. Gilbert, are you a serious human being? Do you really want to go through this school? A day to the end early in the morning in St. Peter's house in Upokwari Secondary School hardly do anybody comes to visit me, me when I have a visitor it's news on campus I heard somebody calling my name Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert you have a visitor Ah, for where? So I peeped from the dormitory. And it was not just one person. There were three people. Two men and a lady. Mr. Ejiri Crawford in Legon. Mrs. Aya Blancy. And Mr. Blancy. They were from Wesley Girls then. Now I think all of them are in Legon or something. That's so many years ago. They said they were praying in Cape Coast. 
And the Lord gave them a vision that there is a boy in Kumasi Opokwari Secondary School. His name is Gilbert Osesia. He has not paid his school fees. find anybody who has not paid their school fees and that was how I paid my school fees and wrote in fact my first suit I bought in life it was a balance of the money they gave me <laughs> if you know God you will know he doesn't fail he will never start something that he doesn't intend to finish. Whatever God has started in your destiny, may he finish it. I am prophesying to you, anything your hand has started as a human being, any project of yours, any building you are building, any relationship, any vision you have, any idea, any seed God has planted in your life, I stand as a prophet of the most high God that the hands that started it, that hand will finish it. I said your hand that started it, your hand will finish it. I speak over your destiny. Whatever it is yours will come to you whatever heavens have decided you become may it come to pass every prophetic word that you carry may it manifest rise up on your feet you are going to pray father I believe in you that your words are yea and amen Whatever you say I will become, may I become. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, Father, we believe in your words, O oh God. We know in you today, we come have on, come to know mouth. that, O oh God, whatever you want us to be, O oh God, we can be. We pray, relying on your supernatural unction of our lives, O oh God. Believe in you, O oh God, or whatever you have started in our mm. lives, O oh God, faithful you. Come as you, O oh God. God, that whatever you have begun in our lives, O oh God, you will definitely bring it to an expected end. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, we believe in your words. Every step, O oh God, you are taking with our lives, O oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh God, bring us to that end, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we call on your name, O oh God. In you, O oh God, we find strength and hope, O oh God, this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh God, we are calling on your name oh lord father oh god we pray by the power that is in the name of jesus whatever you are beginning with our lives oh god we pray that that same hand of god beginning of god that same hand of god will hand it uh, in the name of jesus christ of nazareth uh, we pray for grace oh god we ask in oh god in every area of our lives oh god wherever we are weak oh god wherever we don't have strength oh god we pray in the name of jesus uh, that let your strength oh God be make perfect in our weaknesses uh, in the name of Jesus we pray for grace uh, oh God let grace oh God be given unto us uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we believe in your words oh God in you oh God we have our hope uh, in the name of Jesus the Bible says that for the expectation of ours oh God shall not be cut off we pray in the name of Jesus whatever we are aspiring for every aspirations of us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth of God, let that be fulfillment of God in the name of Jesus. Final prayer. You are praying that God make this year a good year for me. Amen. Let this year be a remarkable year Jesus. in my destiny. Jesus. You see, we serve a prayer answering God. If you pray to God and you believe it, they happen. So go to God, tell God this year marvelous things in my life Jesus. let this year be a significant year Jesus. open your mouth and talk in to the God. name of Jesus oh God we believe you oh God we know you can do what the Bible says and whatsoever we shall ask in the name of Jesus shall be done on us we pray oh God oh God let this year oh God be a significant year in our lives oh God our belief our hope our trust is that oh God whatsoever we ask oh God shall be done we pray in the name of Jesus oh God let it be a year of a testimony let it be a significant year in our lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus, whatever we are believing you for, oh God, 
let it be done on our side. in the name of Jesus oh, yeah. be done on us according to your words in the name of Jesus yeah, oh, God. we rely yeah, yeah. on you we pray oh God that let things work in our favor let all things work for good uh, for us in the name of Jesus oh God we pray for a miracle uh, we pray for a sign oh God we are calling on your name this morning uh, for that do it oh God for us uh, we believe you oh God uh, we know you can do it uh, we know you can do it uh, oh God uh, let a miracle happen to us uh, in the name of Jesus Christ if you are not in the first service you came in second service, pick your calendar. If you don't have calendar, you lift up your hand.